The POW is one of the oldest types of long-range weapons. It first appeared back in the Stone Age and stayed relevant through nearly all of human history. Yet, if you asked people today what range a medieval bow could shoot, you'd get quite a variety of answers, and most would be far from accurate. In the Middle Ages, just as in ancient times, bows fell into two main types, simple and composite. Simple bows, as the name suggests, had a straightforward design made from a single piece of wood. Composite bows, on the other hand, were made by tightly joining different materials, often combining different woods with horn inserts. These bows significantly outperformed simple ones. It's worth noting that composite bows were mostly used in the East, with the Mongolian bow being a classic example. There were also composite bows in Russia. In Europe, however, simple bows dominated, the most famous example being the English longbow. In terms of performance, this bow was nearly on par with composite bows, but it achieved this by being impressively large. The English longbow was typically taller than the archer and measured around six feet. Now, when talking about shooting range, we should keep a few things in mind. First, an arrow flies relatively straight for only a short distance, less than 100 feet. So to shoot at any decent range, an archer would need to angle the bow upward. The second point is the speed of the arrow. Initially, it flies at around 200 feet per second, but that speed keeps dropping. The farther the target, the greater the angle and the flight time, and therefore the more external factors play a role. So, while an average archer could aim accurately and hit a stationary target at 100 yards, about 91 meters, the practical, effective range was actually shorter, typically under 70 meters. This distance even had a special measurement in ancient Russia known as a perestrel or arrow's reach. As for the maximum range, it's tricky to give a precise figure. It's known that composite bows could launch an arrow about 150 times their own length, while simple bows managed about 100 to 120 times. Given that the English longbow was around 6 feet long and the Mongolian composite bow about 5 feet, the average range would be roughly 700 feet. However, this number varied greatly based on the type of arrow used and the specific bow model, so it's more accurate to say the range could fall between 600 and 1,000 feet. Lastly, it's worth mentioning that there are historical accounts of shots reaching distances of 1,000, 1,600, or even more than 2,600 feet. Some researchers view these figures with skepticism, others lean toward believing them. But in general, these are just exceptions, records that always exist but often have little to do with the big picture.